Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to get PlayStation 1 games on your Android phone. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Note at the moment and it's really helpful with the big screen it has to play the games on. Right? What you'll be needing is an app called PSX for Droid and you can download this from the Android market or you can <coughs> force it. it. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, yeah. So uh, let's go and open it. And uh, I've got a few games, as you can see, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing, Rayman, and Spyro the Dragon, just to name a few. But you can download so much more, and I'll include a link at the bottom. You'll also be needing a thing called a BIOS, and I'll also give you a link to that. Now let's go ahead and just open one of these. I'll open Crash Bandicoot 3. And uh, try it again. Yeah, and you, you can get this, it comes up with this sort of controller. Now there are ways to use an actual 6-axis controller, but I haven't done this yet. But um, yeah, you can see, it's coming out. And it is really, really good. Some other Android devices, the music doesn't really stay in sync, but since it's got such a good pro processor, the Galaxy Note, it's about, uh, it's 1.5 dual. Right, here we have Crash Bandicoot Warped loaded. I'll just load uh, what I've done. It's really good, you can uh, actually save games. Which is which I find just incredible for on the phone. I, I would never have thought that I'll be able to put PlayStation One games on your phone. So uh, let's just load this up. Right, I haven't been playing this for that long, but if you can see, there's there's not there's hardly any lag. It may the resolution uh, isn't the greatest, but it's very playable, very playable. Oh, uh, here you go, let's play this level. Here we go, here we go, who's got a level? I think this is time trial mode, because I've already completed the level, but... You can see, it is it is exceptionally good. It's almost like playing the normal, normal PS1 game. So... Oh, I just died there, um... But yeah, you, you get the idea, um... It is it is really really good. I I advise you to get this. The only negatives I found about this is it's uh, crashed about twice. I've I've ever played it, and still you don't have to go and uh, remove the battery. It will just go back to the home screen. You just have to relaunch it, and it's fine. So um, yeah, I'm going to carry on and tell you how to get this. So if you go ahead to go to Play Store and just literally type. PSX for Droid. You can see there. Don't be fooled by the fact it has very, very, very low comment um, reviews. Okay, it's because most people think that when you download it, it will work straight away, and that's that's not the, that's what you have to do. You have to do a few other things first to get it to work. Okay, and it does cost money as well. Three twenty two. Or you can just go on <laughs> for shit head, okay, and uh, that'll be pretty handy. Okay, mm. now once you've gone ahead and downloaded PSX for Droids, you're going to want to plug your device in to your computer, okay. Mm. I'm running Windows, but uh, I'm pretty sure it works for Mac as well. But don't completely count me on it, but I'm pretty sure it works for Mac. But go, I know this definitely works for Windows, okay. Okay. Go into your Android phone and go ahead and make a folder and I called it PSX, okay? Go ahead and make a folder, okay? And then you're going to have to download a BIOS, okay? Right? Okay, now you're going to go ahead and get this BIOS called this, okay? I will put a link down below, but if not, I'll just show you what you need to type in. Okay, what you're going to have to go ahead and do is go to ForShared and type in SCPH and then what will come up is this and go on to SCPH 101 bin click on that right and click on this first one by dream it's the one I got it's got five stars so it means people like it and I like it so go ahead and click on it bang okay hit this download there's loads of downloads everywhere stupid advertising so just click on that one the grey one and then just wait 20 seconds shouldn't take too long okay and once you've waited 20 seconds click on this download one 
and it should appear downloading. It's about 512 kilobytes, not big at all. Okay, and once it's downloaded, I already have it. Uh, go to wherever where you wherever you your downloads go to. Okay, and I want you to move it for wherever your downloads go to to the file you made on your Android phone. So that remember that PS that PSX file you made on your Android phone. Go ahead, click on it, and then paste the BIOS file onto it. Okay. Now that's pretty much it. What we have to do now is I'll give you a link, and you go to this website called ROM Hustler. Okay. Now this is a pretty pretty good site. All you need to do is just go to PlayStation One. Uh, fuck there. PlayStation, and then type your PlayStation game. I'll go Crash Bandicoot. There you go. Load. Okay, and you should have Crash Bandicoot come up. I downloaded, I was playing earlier, Crash Bandicoot 3. Go ahead and. Yeah, also, it gives you a rating. So, if the rating's quite high, which it is here, even though it's got one vote, you know that it's good. A good download. So, click on it. Now. Click here to download this ROM, and then wait a minute. You have to wait five seconds again. Right, click here to start your download, and there we go. It's downloading. All right. Okay. Once it's downloaded, I want you to make a folder on your desktop, not your Android phone, and put your downloaded RAW into this folder okay so here we have all my RAS uh, there's Crash Bandicoot 3 right there okay now you want to go ahead and extract it okay so just right click on it and extract now there's many different extractors you can use I use a thing called Free RAR Extractor Frog okay uh, it's worked for me so just go to CNET uh, I just type free raw extractor, free raw extractor frog CNET, okay, and just download it, okay, and once it's downloaded, you can just go ahead to your raw in your folder in your PC, right click on it, extract, okay, see, extract, and then it will come up with a folder, okay, right, see, Crash Bandicoot 3, bin, okay, all we need to do now is move that bin file okay I'll just copy move that bin file to your Android phone okay uh, where did I put my move it to your phone that PSX folder ROMs make a new folder within that PSX folder called ROMs okay and just paste that paste it in I've already pasted it in so there, there it is. Bin, okay. Make sure it's a bin file, okay, because other files uh, haven't really worked. I know bin work, bin files work the best. Alrighty, once you've done all that, uh, go ahead to PSX for Droid, and what should come up is this settings thing, okay. Now, it you ask you to look for your BIOS. So just go ahead to that PSX file you made, find your BIOS, click on it, and I've already done that, and it's come up there. Once it's found, you can do various settings, okay. Um, if you're running a fast, I don't know what all these settings do, but one of them is the the virtual keypad. Uh, you can you can have different layouts, so you can have uh, the triangle X. A circle here and the buttons uh, left, right, up, down here. I don't like that. I like them both at the bottom, like the normal controller. So you can just you can do that. So you can do uh, you can you can do different things. So there's there's quite a few different ones you can choose from. Uh, so I like uh, bottom and bottom. 
there are various other things like enable sound. If you're running quite a low uh, processor phone, like for example, I don't know, the HTC Desire HD, you might want to disable the sound because the sound just sounds stupid. It's like buzzing and it will be out of sync and it will it'll, it'll slow it down as well. That's another thing. So just depending on what phone you have, uh, do that, okay? Uh, and that's about it. There's uh, just go ahead and play around with it. See which works best for you. I just kept to all the settings which it started off with. But yeah, so let's go back. Uh, also, uh, you want to go find where you put all your ROMs. So there'll be a way of finding where your ROMs. I've already found it, but uh, once you found your ROMs, just go ahead and click one of them. I'll go on another one now. Spyro. Spyro works pretty well as well. This is Spyro 2. Ugh. The controls uh, are quite good. Like, you don't have to press square exactly to hit square. You can like hit there. So it makes it a bit easier. Because obviously you haven't got a controller to feel the buttons. You just have to guess. So it's easier that you don't have to click exactly on the button. Right. Uh, as I said, you can save, which is really good. Uh, there you go, thirty percent of the way through. If you if you're gonna have one of those Androids with the the D ball here, you can use that as one of the analog controllers. Uh, but obviously, my Samsung Note does not have it. But yeah, you can see it works superbly well. Oh, fuck off. There. Um, yeah. So that's about it for this little tutorial. I haven't tried PS2 games yet, but I'm sure it'll work in the same way. But you obviously want a high processor phone if you're going to want to run a PS2 game. Because it'll be lagging quite a lot. So, thanks a lot, uh, like, subscribe, cheers.